Aquarius. How are you? I'm doing your chart for December 2019. Mostly I'm focusing on the great shift, the great conjunction that we have going on in Capricorn and where it is in your house. Of course, this is a general chart reading. If you want an individual chart reading, you know, you have to consult an astrologer or, you know, look one up. But anyway, so I drew up this chart for February 7th. I picked a random Aquarian birthday in 2019. And so the transits on the outer wheel are the ones I'm focusing on. So um, Jupiter stations, Jupiter stations in Aquarius on, it's uh, one degree, one degree. And Jupiter is the great benefic, the good luck planet. It's the planet of good fortune, opportunity, expansion. Some call it a guardian angel, you know, brings good luck. Um, and it's going to be there a whole year in Capricorn. So you, you want to know what house you have it in. So that's why this particular chart it has it in the second house of assets, money, what you value. It's Taurus, Taurus's house, the second house, and it's an earth house. And Capricorn is earth as well on this particular chart. So um, Jupiter will bring good, would bring good luck in your assets. Um, Venus too. Venus is there as well. And Venus is the planet of attraction and what you like. So you may, you may want to, um, you may have assets being attracted to you for one thing. Good luck, good, you know, money may come to you or um, you might want to do make money doing something you like because Venus is what you like. So you want to like what you, whatever it is you do or how you make money. But definitely those are both the planet, planets of attraction. Jupiter brings good fortune and Venus is magnetic attraction. So it draws circumstances to you. So they're both the great benefics. Also, they're joining Saturn and Pluto. Those are the outer planets in their long term. Pluto has been in Capricorn since 2008, since the Great Recession in the U.S. Um, this particular stellium won't be in Capricorn for, I, I don't know, what the, I think it's 50 years or something in our, in our lifetime. It's, it takes a long time for it to go around the whole zodiac. So this is this is a, a big deal. Um, so it's going to, um, Saturn is building structure. It's the ruler of Capricorn. So you, you want to build structure in your finances and you may have good luck and go to a higher tier in your financial sector. Um, Pluto has probably rearranged everything. Uh, Pluto can also be power, though. You can use it, use it as willpower because it's the ruler of Scorpio. So um, you can use that as willpower to get things done. I mean, it's got a will of steel. I mean, yeah, it may get knocked down. It may have totally wiped you out financially, but with Venus and Jupiter there, you're back, you know? You're just back. Ball and got it all, get, made it all back, got, you know? It's like the winner. It's like blackjack, you know, hitting the winner. Um, hitting 21. Uh, yeah, so. But Saturn gives you perseverance, stamina, endurance. Um, and it's serious. Saturn is serious. Whereas Jupiter is jovial and light and fun. So they're, they're like a dichotomy. They're totally different. Different personalities or archetypes, the, these two planets in the same sign in Capricorn. So Jupiter wants to have fun, especially with Venus. They want to have fun. They want to eat, drink, be merry, indulge in everything all the time. So watch your spending. Watch your spending. You don't want to squander away your assets. And that's easy to do with, with those two in there, in, the, in this second house, in this chart this particular chart. Also, um, they're trying, they're, they're trining Uranus, which is 
in Taurus, and Taurus is changeability. I mean, Taurus is ruled by Venus. It's, um, and Uranus is unpredictable changeability, sudden unexpected change. So, you know, there may be some changes to your financial sector. Money may come to you or some, you know, some unexpected change may happen to you financially. But if you have it in a different house, of course, it'll be, you know, a different area. But uh, this is kind of general. So I'm going to keep this short. I don't want to keep it too short because then the other signs get jealous. How come they only got five minutes and I got nine? Or <laughs> yeah, you know. So, yeah, you're like second from the end. I, and you're one of my favorite signs, actually. I shouldn't say that. But because you're a sextile with Aries, I've always said that Aries and Aquarians are soulmates. Only because it's, well, partially anyone who has a sextile um, gets along quite well with each other. It's easy flowing, harmonious aspect. So Aries and Aquarians get along very well together. Um, but just threw that in there. <laughs> and so this chart in December, of course, we have the sun right on Jupiter. And that's jolly. That's jolly. That's winter solstice, you know, Kwanzaa, Christmas, all of it, all the celebrations, all of them, all together. So again, that's eat, drink, be merry, uh, have gout. <laughs> yeah, and, and Sagittarius is really going to miss their Jupiter, but it's their ruler, so they won't lose it. And your ruler, your ruler uh, is both Saturn. You have your ruler in Capricorn. Both Saturn and Uranus, they're both the rulers of Aquarius. So you have one ruler in Capricorn that's involved in this whole stellium, along with the South Node as well. And um, the opposite is North Node in Cancer, but I've gone into depth in that about that elsewhere. Um, but your other ruler is Uranus, and that is... Um, that's in Taurus now. That's in Taurus. So this has it in your fifth house. <laughs> Shake up in love. Children might have a surprise love child. <laughs> uh, love affairs, creativity, self-expression. You may decide to study, become an astrologer. That's what I love about Aquarians. They're so um, open-minded. You know, you may... Um, get into nuclear physics or something like that, you know, just a very scientific, lightning fast mind. I mean, it's like a higher analytical ability, higher than, higher, much higher octave than Mercury that, that you have as your ruler. That's why um, traditionally it's the ruler of astrology. You look to see, you know, you look for Aquarius or Uranus. I mean, you know, it's kind of like a signature, but um, anyway, I think I've gone on long enough for this. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, Aquarius, um, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you. Take care. Have a great December. Um, yeah. All right. Take care.